So I'm wet sanding the walls down right here, knocking off all of the sheetrock dust. It has already been um, dry sanded. And getting to level three for the finish on the drywall has really taken uh, a long time for our family. Lots of mudding. And then after mudding, we come in with dry sanding with the scuttle bugs and the dry uh, sponges to knock off all of the high spots, the ridges, the dags, anything sticking out. And then after that, we would come in with the wet sponge and sand uh, the walls down with a wet sponge, knock off all of the dust, and make sure that there's just no high ridges or um, rough spots that are left. And we would repeat the process for three times to get to a level three finish. So today's video mostly will be on the short side, shorter than usual, um, because we didn't think that we would uh, bore you or that you would want to be bored with you know 25 minutes 30 minutes uh long of just seeing us mud sand sponge repeat so here in this video we're just gonna give you the highlights and hope you enjoy I wanted to try doing corners and I wanted them to turn out nice and smooth and using this corner tool it was it was making it challenging I was struggling and I was trying to figure it out and I was getting frustrated so I thought the best thing at that point is to walk outside take a breather study the sunflowers enjoy them for a few minutes and after a few minutes I was able to clear my mind redirect my focus and I went back inside to tackle doing the corners and they came out beautifully. So enjoy the footage that I've included of my mini break outside to refocus and redirect. Sunflowers are such happy flowers. So this is why Brian has to come in behind me and fix everything that I've been doing. I feel like I've been frosting a cake. He's fixing all of my darn it's, I guess you could say. And I managed to get it all over myself. I frosted my hair even. It's all up and down my arms. I got it everywhere that it didn't need to go. And um, let's just say, well, let's just say that uh, I guess one job that I probably should never apply for would be cake decorator. I probably would be horrible at that. I would get the frosting all over everywhere except where it needed to be. Some of our drywall knives were starting to collect rust on them and so we needed to take the palm sander um, over a couple of them just to clean them up a little bit and that is uh, what I am doing here.
dry sanding got sheetrock dust everywhere. Using these scuttle bugs reminds me of kind of like a Swiffer mop um, with sandpaper attached to the bottom. Hey, hey guys, we got to something that didn't involve dry sanding, mud sanding, hanging sheetrock and drywall. It is our two-headed shower stall. Two, this one we got in, we got this little pony wall, I guess you would call it a pony wall, um, framed in. And we got this um, plumbed and pressure tested, so no leaks, works great. And then the hole over here, we haven't done the second shower head, but it'll be right there with the faucet and uh, that is the master shower double head and then on this side of the wall here with the opaque window we're gonna put a freestanding tub and uh, we're debating on something fun for this little area we're not sure we were throwing out the idea of maybe dividing it in half and from there down cladding it in either a stained wood or a barn wood so it would look like the freestanding tub is kind of wrapped with a um, surround of either barn wood or stained wood. And then I'm not sure what it would do to the top, if it would just be uh, paint, uh, sheetrock painted or whatnot. But uh, we're, we have some ideas of how we want to make the master kind of interesting, fun, and um, make it pop a little. We're going to tile. The whole floor will be tile. Um, in there is the um, toilet and that'll have a sliding barn door and uh, the coming into the master bath will have a sliding barn door as well and so master bath is coming along we were totally excited to get this done and in because we are tired of drywall we want to move on to other projects so that is good hey everyone thank you for watching today's video we hope you enjoyed it and Brian and I have a question to all of you out there, our viewers and our subscribers. So comment below, what was one of your favorite DIY projects? Um, our channel is all about DIY, doing it yourself. Uh, if you already know how to do it, um, or if you don't know how to do it, or you wanna learn how to do it quicker and faster, or learn some tricks of the trades, um, whatever. So we assume that all of our viewers are DIY, that all of you are DIY people that you enjoy doing it yourself or you enjoy trying something new. Um, so comment below, let us know what was one of your favorite DIY projects.